about the semi-acoustic bass. Yes, indeed. indeed. Yes. I think that's what these are called. Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. Electroacoustic, semi-acoustic, where, where do you stand yeah, on I, that? I, I would say semi-acoustic. Yeah, semi-acoustics because they've mostly got a centre block, as far as I know. Right. Through, through the middle, maybe they don't. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. Well, indeed. But welcome. Anyway, oh, before we start, if you wouldn't mind, like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see some more bass videos. <gasps> more bass videos are up here as well, so we've, we've done loads in the past. Go and check them out, they'll be much appreciated. And links are in the description below if we don't cover anything that we should. To all formalities dispensed with, yes, forthwith, <laughs> um, then look, this is a very, very These beautiful basis, yes, right? Man. Absolutely, yeah, so as you rightly said, all um, different types of uh, either semi-hollow semi, semi -hollow or hollow bass. I'm just trying to see exactly what um, what's what, but you'll see that they've all got cavities um, inside, so they're not like a solid body electric bass. Um, and with that, you get a different tone, different um, sort of acoustic resonance to it that hopefully well, it, should come through. Well, it's true, and I think just sort of going through and, and playing these, uh, they've all got their own little things to offer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sonically, uh, they, they all sound a little bit different. Um, too right. And, of course, they, they look very different as well. They do, yeah. They do. And it's, it's great to have this opportunity as well, because I, I think, like, um, you might check out as well, are you checking out the other videos, we did a six-string um, bass shootout, which is similar. We're, at the moment, we've got... Just a few, um, a few in stock of these particularly like niche, more of niche uh, bases um, as part of the base range. And yeah, let's just get them to show you what we've, uh, what the differences are between them all. Yeah, I mean, there, there's names here that obviously people know. The Epiphone Jack Cassidy we've looked yes, at yes. before. There was a little separate video on that if you want some some more details. Uh, Warwick, people know, but yeah. I have to say I, I don't know Warwick for doing this. So oh, this yeah, is yeah. a nice departure. Absolutely, so a bit different for them, isn't it? Very nice. Gretsch, obviously. Oh, very, very a classic look at that. I mean, that just what a beautiful, beautiful thing that is. Yeah. And I guess, you know, a, a mean, relative yeah. newcomer. Absolutely, especially to the Andertons uh, range of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, B&G, and, um, and you might have seen the guitars be covered on the guitar channel already. Uh, and this is their offering on the, on the bass guitars. So, uh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, what, very what, nice. What do you know about that firm? Anything interesting? Uh, they're all very new to me, very new to me. I know these are pretty much the top, top of any sort of Chinese um, manufacturing at the moment. This right. is, um, if you just look at some of this, I mean, this in particular, you see the Aguilar pickups that are being used. Um, so there's gorgeous, gorgeous specs on this. Obviously, this is proper flamed and got nice horizontal grain on the top of this as well, of maple. Um, but it, all the details on this, like you've got the flame maple binding. This does look pretty, pretty swish, I should mm. say. But not, that is reflected in the price, of course. Absolutely. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yeah, absolutely. Because the, these three are kind of similarly priced. Indeed, yes, absolutely. And this one's, yeah, a little bit on its own, but we'll go through, um, yeah, the specs on that. And to say anything we don't cover, details below. Details below. Well, gee, yeah. Well, should we have a little uh, listen then? Shall we? Yeah. 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 Do you want to start we, with that yeah, one? Yeah. Should we? Let's do it. Let's start do it. Start on the top. Great. Right. So let's go. I've got everything on. Everything on. Let's see where we are. Right. So what? What does what? This is just nice and simple. Volume, volume, and overall tone for okay. everything else. Okay. Well, let's start off on the back. Tone Okey off. Okey dokey. Let's see what it does. Uh, back. Tone off. Yeah. La. Throatiness to it, that. Yeah, it's really interesting like. because um, it's out of all of these bases, it's got the most modern sound. So, uh, right, okay. Yeah. I, I'm really, I'm really getting that. You know, it's got um, a, a, a nice bright character to those pickups. Yeah. For what is it, a passive bass? It, it seems uh, almost like it's active. Too right. Um, and I like that. 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's certainly not, it, it's not trying to emulate any old traditional, sort of particularly woody sound. Yeah, because you, you still have that quality coming through a little bit of that, that, um, that woodiness, woody yeah. throatiness, I, I call it throaty. Um, but yeah, very surprising out of the size of the body as well, as it being, yeah, sort of semi hollow as well. Um, you know, it's a very, very thin, nice, shallow, very, very light um, body. And it's in this kind of obviously Les Paul single cut kind of style. Um, it's and very, very comfortable. Pl playing wise, how does it feel? Really nice. I, I'm not one always for um, lacquered necks, but this is a very, very nice lacquer. They're using it very, very smooth. It's not getting sticky at all, which is, um, which is great. Um, and just out of the pack, it just feels comfortable. You know, it feels right. So it's quite. I, when I had a little play, it, it, it was noticeably quite sort of rounded. Yeah, absolutely. Especially down here. Yeah, yeah. very much so. Really and actually, it's got a quite a pronounced kind of V to it actually it comes out a little bit. I don't know if the guitars are like that, I haven't actually looked. Um, but um, yeah, very pronounced kind of mid-central kind of point on the neck. So it gives you a little bit more balance with your thumb as well. If you a pronounced V. A pronounced, pronounced V. A V. I can tell <laughs> we should pronounce that. Lovely, okay. Uh, yeah. Shall we uh, have a look at that one? You pick one, sir, shall we? Well, I've, we'll got, I've, got to, I've got to do the Gretsch, because I mean, I just want Oh, you like that, don't you? Come on. It looks beautiful. Now, uh, control-wise, um, we, we just got, a bot to, uh, got to the bottom of this. Thank you, Pete, for explaining it. Because um, you've got pickup selector. Two pickups, obviously. Pickup selector, front, both, back. And then we've got an, an overall volume. Right, Like yeah. a master, master volume. Master, yeah. And then we've got a volume for each pickup on top of that. And then we've got an overall tone. Cool. Okay, yeah. Uh, so that gives you some... Uh, different things to play with. Definitely. Know? If you want to switch quickly between different sounds, I guess you can set... Yeah, set in between the different pickups. Yeah, and you can it's, I mean, it's a very different between. way, a very different setup to what we use. Most bases, yeah, absolutely. But hey, that's, it's the Gretsch way, right? Nice. Well, okay, well, you have a play. I won't touch Master Volume then. I'm gonna, I won't Leave touch, that one alone. Leave that one alone. I'm gonna, I'll play with these. Yeah, so there's your tone there. Um, so if we start right. off. Uh, so, yeah, because, well, you don't really well, guess, need yeah, to touch we'll those, do you? We'll leave all of that, leave the volumes all up. We've got a selection. We'll just do, do that yeah, yeah. and that. How about that? Like it. Like the sound of that? Yeah. I, I, I lied. I did start playing around with volumes. I do apologise, but um, just to just to see something in my mind. Seems to me like a lot of sounds in there. Yeah, a lot of tones and Definitely. nice ones. Yes, yeah, it, it all keeps. <laughs> Which uh, it always helps. Yeah, yeah, lots of them, and they're all good. Yeah, um, absolutely, man. You, especially you've got lovely clarity with that. And again, say it sounds really basic. I could not have any other way to say it, but um, you've got that. Uh, wooden sort of undertone to, to everything, all of those different sounds. I could hear. Yeah, they're, maybe I just mean, sitting right in front of the. Th this is the, this has got the real sort of wood, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's got that 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 sound. But yeah, absolutely. Between those, this is just I was just riding the tone knob when we we're flicking between the, the pickups. But on the middle selection, then I just went back there, played her a little bit around with having one volume on or one slightly off, and there's loads of different tones in there as well. So, yeah. uh, um, so we like that then. We like the range. Yeah. Good. 
So Absolutely. far, so good. We, so far, we like, so good. We like. So your turn. Okay, yeah. Oh, you know Let's have a look at this Warwick thing. Um, okay. Ooh, straight away. This is the Warwick Star. The Star Base. Yes, I like that. indeed. So yeah, as you said, Roddy Soban, this is very, it's a bit of a uh, left turn or right turn for, for Warwick over the years. Yeah. You will know it's from uh, famously brought, well, yeah, like, well, the solid body thumb and streamer and all their, their sort of models of, of, of solid body bases. Um, but I'm pretty sure this came around, or um, uh, the, one of the guys, Leland, Leland Sklar, Leland Sklar, the, um, right, yeah, right, Leland Sklar, yeah. He's got a signature one of these uh, in the, the full sort of German made um, uh, factory. So he's got a signature one of those, and he's got a signature Dingwall for the completely different, you know, like a uh, fan fret, um, uh, well, solid body. He's a versatile boy. I'll he is that. indeed, yeah. But um, lightly. apparently he, he swears by, by these as well for that alternate sound, like sound that he needs that's not the full modern Dingwall. So, right, right. Um, yeah, let's see, see what it does. See what it does. There to be honest. Um, so yeah. okay, okay, again, yeah. a, a sonically different again. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely. The, the, yeah, got, this is more bright. I feel this straight away. It's got a little bit more of an attack tack to it. Yeah. Um, but saying that, let me just roll both the tones off and see the middle pickup. Okay, no, you can, so you can still yeah get that rounded, more more warmth, warmth to it. That throatiness is what I'm on about. That like it sounds like it's about to growl, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like. Oh, I like it. It, it feels great. It it's feels nice. great. It's, it's, I like it. It's a good thing. Uh, as you as you said, does something the, the different. One we've got into there because it it looks real pretty. It, yeah, I do like the look definitely. I like that this is kind of they've gone this kind of offset. This is slightly longer than the this oh, one. Oh, I see. Right. I yeah. Like that. Like that. For uh, copyright reasons. Yeah, <laughs> both probably. Right, uh, okay. well, it's last but no means least Oh then. yeah, you've got Mr. Cassidy. So, control wise, a bit simpler on this one. Or is it? Ooh. Well, one pickup, yes. Uh, one volume, yeah. one tone. Keep moving. Yes, that's it. Uh, but we've also got this uh, little yes. kind of filter thing here with some uh, just alternate kind of voicings. Yeah. So, so again, we did a vid on this before. So if you, um, you know, if you're really interested, go and check that out. Yes, absolutely. Uh, let's just start off with this uh, volume up, tone off, on this sort of front voicing here. Now that is very much <laughs> what we come to expect from, you know, a sort of uh, a semi-acoustic bass, right? Yeah. Straight Lots away. Lots of warmth. Yeah. Just. Um, all cool. the bottom end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not a lot of top, yeah. but that's kind of what it's for, right? So we'll, wind, we'll wind the tone in a bit. Again, the growl you were talking about is starting to come through there. Just driving the amp nicely, you know. Yeah. That's great. Uh, and this, I'll do the voicing thing now then. So. Yeah, I think that's more of a, I think it's a, it acts as like a mid-frequency kind of thing. I, I should do, anyway. Okay, well let's have a look then. Oh yeah, very much brighter now. Yeah. Yeah. 
about ready. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that is starting to really like yeah, wail, yeah, isn't yeah. It? It's great. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, Jack, calm down. No, I like it. I love that a lot. Yeah. Looks well, amazing. That straight, that first sound you did, the yeah. tone off. Yeah. On the 50 hertz yeah. volume on, that, yeah, that is all that subby, if we want any kind of dub, reggae. Oh, that's it's quite, amazing. There you go, yeah. right there. That's, well, amazing. That's um, for the one, the only one with one pickup, I think that's right, yeah. Yeah. That's. Um, it still, doesn't doesn't limit it too much. No, it's not at all. Still very versatile, no. and the sounds that it makes are very nice. So, I suppose, uh, yeah, we should have a look at the pricing. Okay. Yeah. So, monies, as we mentioned, that yeah, the B and G is the most expensive of the um, of the lot, which is around nineteen hundred. Um, so this one just here. But that is quite a way out in front, because these are uh, more closely grouped, right? They yeah, they are indeed. Well, yeah, actually, very very similar. So you're looking, Gretchy boy here. We've got eight nine nine. See, I was amazed when, when I saw the price of that because I thought that would be twice that money. Yeah, yeah. That's that's nothing. That is. is yeah, it? I, to be honest, they're, they're electromatic and the streamliner range in the guitars. It, it's it's sort of known how much value you get for um, for what you pay. Um, because that doesn't feel like a cheap instrument at all. That's, no, a, that's a beautifully no. made thing, isn't it? No, absolutely. So yeah, eight nine nine for this. This gorgeous, gorgeous little thing. Oh. Um, we have eight nine nine as well for the Warwick Star. So just here. Lovely. Um, again, if it's your bag, want a little bit shorter scale. Obviously, yeah, bigger humbuckers. Doesn't um, seem like a lot of money for a Warwick. No, no, absolutely. Um, so yep, yeah, no, great little base yeah. there. And this one, seven four nine. So the cheapest of the bunch. Cheapest of the bunch. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, really, really interesting. We probably did cover that in the um, the, the standalone review video we did on this, but um, Jack Cassidy, we, we had a look into his sound of trying to get this bass right, because apparently he was hunting for Gibson Les Paul basses back in the 70s and 80s that had that sound. He couldn't find any, um, and managed to combine two different ones, I think, and then get that pickup positioned exactly right so that you've got all that, that kind of tone options, you know, options available, so. God bless him. That was worth doing, wasn't it? Yeah, well, it was. <laughs> he, he, he obviously got what he wanted. Yeah, really surprising, to say, um, against all these other, with the, uh, the double pickups as well. Yeah, so I think really, you know, amongst those three, you, you're really, you're looking at what kind of sound you want to make with it, because they're all a bit different. Um, and then, of course, this kind of it is kind of its own little thing here, like the B and G. Yeah. Um, but I know you're very taken with it. I, 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 just from the back pickup sound on that as well. I think it's got it's. it's uh, yeah, I like that from the jazz bass sound anyway. But this with its combination of that little bit of extra warmth and that throaty kind of growl to it. Yeah, um, like I say, much, much more modern sound to my ears. A much more modern sound on that bass. So it's yeah. a, like a modern take on a yeah on an old idea. Right? Well, straight away you, you didn't get. From, from, you know, I probably have to play it again, but that sound that you had straight for that, that one big subby mm. low end sound didn't seem to get much of that out of this, but everything else, I mean, this is um, it's much again, tighter, it's much, tighter more, much more focused. Absolutely, scene. yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I love it, absolutely love it. And I like this V shaped neck on this as well. Mm. Don't see that many on many bases, do you? So. Lovely. Like well, it. Well, there you go. That's yeah. our little, uh, little semi acoustic bass roundup. We thought we'd do that because uh, these are all in stock at the moment and uh, it's not always the case. No, not um, at all. So Especially if you're in the market for one of these, then, you know, by all means, if you can get into the store, come and check it out. Yeah. Um, I think they're all really nice bases. Definitely. And uh, and certainly, uh, you know, certainly affordable, they're these three. I can't believe how cheap they are. So. No, absolutely. Yeah. Come and check them out if you get the chance. Great stuff. All right, it's buying. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Thanks for joining us. It's been all about the base. I've been Nathan. And I've been Lee. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Thanks, folks. <laughs> see <Bye>. you soon. <laughs>